The Price of Defying Israel. Paul Laroudi. I was one of those who chose to defy Israeli forces when they attacked and took our freedom flotilla ships that were trying to deliver desperately needed humanitarian aid to civilian organizations in the Israeli blockaded Gaza Strip. Most of us resisted, to varying degrees, for which we paid a price in my case multiple beatings and two days of captivity in Israel. At least I'm paid with their lives. My multicolored skin and twisted joints are healing, even at age 64, but my colleagues are gone forever, and some of the dozens of wounded may never fully recover. All of us were unarmed. I chose to resist, by jumping overboard from the Sfandoni soon after we were captured, far out at sea. I took the calculated risk that Israel would find it hard to explain its failure to rescue me and that the act might disrupt their operations to at least some extent. Later, I continued to protest, by refusing to speak or walk, forcing my captors to carry me. Pain was used to force me to comply, and of course when pain didn't work.